Okay, so some problems that I identified when it comes to IT security is that security experts and journalists and, and uh, magazines, we always talk about everything that's new, new viruses, new vulnerabilities, new problems. But when you look on the problems that actually exist on companies, they're not really super technical. It's not only new viruses and new vulnerabilities. I mean, a simple thing as social engineering or social attacks are very, very simple and very, very easy to conduct. I mean, I conducted some, some research on my own where I basically uh, walked into a company and grabbed the information that I needed and walked out without you know, exploiting anything or, or doing um, anything technical. Of course, I had permission to do that from, from the company, but I was just going to prove how easy it was to actually obtain the information by just walking in and grabbing the information. And that's something that we see very often that employees at companies, they do have problem understanding what the risks are. I mean, most people don't even understand um, what type of information that should be considered as confidential. And if you don't even know what information that's confidential, how are you going to protect that information? So the attackers today, they might not just send you uh, an email or infect a website. They might just call you on the phone or actually walk into the company. To, so some, some guides or some tips that you can have in mind when you're actually dealing with security is try to look for, for people who doesn't have badges or people who is just wandering around in the office. Also, do not answer um, questions on phone, um, people who just calls you on the phone or sends you emails. Um, if someone's asking for some specific information, make sure that you have permission bef uh, from your manager before you actually talk and, and share that information. And also be aware of everything that you're doing. Like if someone's asking you to use your computer or get access to some file or something, think twice before you get give that person access. That's a few tips that, that you can think of when dealing with, with social engineering and social attacks.